it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and this is the project we're going to make today. Um, this uses the amazing, wonderful, I love it, Painted Harvest set from the new Autumn Winter catalogue. This set was made just for me. Okay, it wasn't, but it may as well have been because those of you who know me know that sunflowers are the logo that I have chosen for my website and everything else that I do. So I couldn't believe it when this came out because it's just perfect for me. So um, let's get started. Um, okay, so we need, uh, she says, nothing quite like preparation, but you know me by now, preparation is not my middle name. So we're using a very vanilla card blank, a uh, card base, and that's um, an A4 piece of card cut in half to A5, scored down the middle to make an A6 card. And then um, I'm using Cajun Craze, and this is my normal first layer mat, which is five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, which is 14 and a quarter by nine and three quarter centimeters. So um, to get the base, we're going to, having scored it, this is the lump side. So we're going to score, we're going to fold towards that and then reinforce with our bone folder. And then for the mat, um, I'm going to use this lovely new, it was in the new um, annual catalogue and it's one of the dynamic 3D um, textured impression folders and this is layered leaves, so perfect for this project. So because this is one of the textured um, impressions folders, um, which is very thick, very stiff, um, if you want it embossed, you need to put your cardstock into the folder so that the stamping up and Sizzix logos are facing you and then that will push up, the other way will push down. So what you can do if you're um, concerned that your cardstock may tear, it shouldn't, but just in case, is you can actually spritz the cardstock with one of the little stamping mist stamping sprays, um, which are in the annual catalog. I'm not going to bother because I know that it will go through okay because I've already done it. So the sandwich is, let me bring my trolley in, the standard Big Shot platform and one cutting plate. You do not need two cutting plates because it's a thick embossing folder. Just one will do fine and you run it through your machine with the fold leading the way. So this is the fold, so that goes into the machine. And there we go. Isn't that just lovely? And then that's the debossed side. So if you wanted that, then that would be good too. Don't know how well you can... Um, I have to apologise for the lighting. I'm filming this late at night. Well, not that late, but late-ish at night. Um, because my husband has gone out for the evening and it seemed like a good way of catching up. Um, so yes, so here we go. Hopefully you can kind of pick that up reasonably well and that's the debossed side. So that's that done. I might as well just attach one to t'other whilst I've got them out. So um, my favourite glue and particularly with the embossing folders, I would say a wet adhesive is good particularly if you can get it to run um, because it picks up the lumpy bits um, and it doesn't squash all that lovely embossing that you've just put in where if you run fast fuse over too hard or snail too hard you may flatten your embossing which is not good so that's that then for our stamping um, so that's, where are my bits? I've got my bits, I know I put those bits, there we are. Right, so we're stamping on very vanilla. Um, and I've got basically scraps. Um, I'm going to be using our new Starburst Punch to stamp out the flower. You can fussy cut it, but um, you really don't wanna watch me fussy cutting. And of course, I'm using the lovely new, and you get it as part of a bundle, 
with the Painted Harvest stamp set, this lovely new leaf punch, and it matches beautifully. So bundle, you get 10% off both. So rather than paying for that and that, you pay for them both together and get 10% off the total price, which is always a good one. So, okay, stamping. This is two-step stamping. Now, as a general rule, the instructions will say, and by instructions I mean, you know, the metaphoric instructions, will say that you should do the um, smaller image second. Yeah, not so much. Not when it's me. I like to do the smaller image first. Well, I actually like to do whichever is the darkest image first. And as the colours I'm going to use for my sunflower are crushed curry, oops, let's do it in the English side, crushed curry and pumpkin pie for the petals. And that may come as a bit of a shock because the pumpkin pie doesn't look quite so bright, but that's because it's over the cage of the crushed curry and it's on very vanilla. So I'm going to start with the pumpkin pie and the second, well, what I'm thinking of as the second stamp. And actually I can probably do it towards a corner. Just pop that down. Now these are watercolour stamps. So I'm not expecting this to be crisp, crisp, crisp. I am expecting it to look exactly like that. So that's fine. That's what I've got. So let's pop this back and pull up our second stamp. Get rid of that. Now for this one, I do tend to suggest using the stamping pierce mat because you just get a slightly better impression. This is a very, very watercolor image. Um, and the other thing to look at is how to line this up. Um, there's this shape here, which I'm going to line up. It's a kind of obvious place to line up, um, she says, or is it actually that one? Ooh, used to be indecisive. Yeah, no, it's there. It's there. That's how I want it lined up. Inked, preferably. It doesn't actually matter too much, um, I would say, because it is watercolour. So, it's a good impression. And there we are. It's beautiful. I love it, love it, love it. So that's the outside of the sunflower. So the, the petals, if you like. And then we just need to do the inside, which I've already mounted up the inside stamp. And we're going to do that in soft suede. And again, this is a watercolour image. And then finally, so clean that before I lean on it. Early espresso for some little dots that just go to fill in the middle a little bit. So I say that's with early espresso. And then that will be ready to punch out. So, don't need the mat anymore because the other stamps are less worrisome. Not that they're worrisome, but you know what I mean. Don't need that on anymore because I need that block. So, for the leaves, there are two images. There's this, which is a kind of watercolour background, and then there's this one which is a the veined image. And I'm going to use Old Olive and just ink that up. And I'll do three, but one of them I'll do upside down because it'll just fit the punch nicely that way. It means you can get more onto your 
piece of card and then the other one is surprisingly also going to be full strength and you'll see why I say surprisingly when I've inked it up because it's well actually you won't because it's it works brilliantly so because this is a more definite outline this is why I'm using this one second and you will see why when I stamp it because it's very very faint and a bit like the um, flower it doesn't matter too much if you don't line it up perfectly so there we are that's that and then finally we will do our sentiment so I'm going to bring back in I'll punch those out in a minute we need a lot more than that but I'm not going to put you through the pain of watching me do a lot more of that I am using the sentiment your kindness means so much more than you will ever know so pumpkin pie into the middle of another scrap And there we are. Now, um, dum -dum -dum. this is our new label punch. And the thing that I'm forgetting is what it's called. Uh, and that would be so much easier if I could find my... Oh, it's right in front of me. Because um, you're allowed to see it now. <sighs> my new catalogue. Right. So because this is going out after the 1st of September, you can have a look at it. Um, so, here is the Painted Autumn Suite, and the this is the bundle, but the label punch, which is what I'm actually looking for, is nearer the front, and again, it's a bundle. Here we go. Um, so it's part of the Mega Suite, which is the Merry Little Christmas, and it's the Merry Little Labels stamp set with the matching uh, Everyday Label Punch. And if you buy them as a bundle, again, you get 10% off. So, and this goes with another set, which I want to say is in amongst the Halloween. Yep, here we go, which is the Labels of Love set. So there are actually two label sets that you that will go with the Everyday Label Punch. Um, and the other set that goes with the Painted Autumn is, and you can see that mine is a printed PDF version of the catalogue, is the Count My Blessings. And the reason I think this goes with the, um, with the paper is because it's got these acorns and also these sprigs which carry through onto the matching paper which is this gorgeous paper here um, which has got acorns there's an acorn on the stamp set here as well but this is just more of the same so waffle 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 um everyday label punch and just punch that out so that's that punch out let's punch out our sunflower and the leaves and it just lines up perfectly or it would do if I could get my hands to work so this is the downside of filming late is that my brain's given up it's never good at the best of times but late at night it's definitely not good And then, oops, final one, there we go, so that's that, but as I say, we need loads more than that, so now I know how to put this together, so um, I just know, because uh, I've done it before, so um, I know that if I 
have them coming round like this, they, it will work. So I'm going to work from the back, although actually I'm going to have them coming around that way. And I'm just going to use, with a bit of wet glue, uh, I'm going to pop glue on the stalk. If my glue would like to work, that would be lovely. There we go. And just a little bit on the bottom of the leaf. And once you've got your first one down, it becomes kind of easier. I think I might have to get myself another glue out because that's going to irritate the bejeebas out of me. So let us see what I've got tucked away in my... Right, this has been upside down, so hopefully this one will work. Oh, oh yes, oh yes. It'll work all right. Oh, far too much. It's got a little airlock. Um, excuse me one moment while I get some tissue. Right. Okay. And I will borrow some of that for my next one. Who says crafters aren't thrifty? Right, let's try that again. And I'm basically just overlapping the leaf. So you can see that we're ending up with this sort of leaf circle round and more glue coming out. It's either sublime or ridiculous really, isn't it? This is not happy, or at least I'm not. Right, okay, let's do this a different way. Let us, whoops, drop things. I'm going to pop some on my silicon mat um, and pop that on my silicon mat and put the lid back on. Then I might have a bit more control. Right. Okay, this is a bit better after all that excitement. Oops. There is a moral in this story. Don't film late. It's not worth it. But I'm going to persevere because you know me. There's always a way to resolve things. So I'm just going to wipe that before I get that on the wrong side of my card. Wipe my fingers a bit. And basically we just keep, oh, can you actually see what I'm doing? Just about, just realized I'm right at the bottom of my mat. bit of red cardstock there. And the last one. And there we go. Yay! It worked. So that's sort of eight or nine, I didn't count. Um, and this will then just peel off when it's dry. So let's pop everything together. Some dimensionals to go on the back of this. And I'm going to not put any dimensionals on the back of the leaves, just putting them on the punched circle. I'm going to put a reasonable number. Everything is now sticking to my fingers because I've got a bit of glue on them. So pop that 
down and we've got that ready to go so need a bit of burlap ribbon which is let me just cut a piece off and I will tell you how long it needs to be oh that's not the right way no that's no it was the right way so this is roughly it's cut on an angle but it's roughly four inches cut on an angle now this I am going to stick on with fast fuse because it's a fairly rough ribbon uh, so we need something fairly tough to um, adhere it yeah be about right and then this is a perfect thing to use up these edge pieces on now I happen to know that four little points is just about right for this punch so let's grab that And what I'm doing is I'm sticking it on either side of the punch so that the ribbon is down the middle uh, and that will help the ribbon not cause too much bulk. So it'll be like that. Uh, but it means everything sits reasonably close to even and level and all those other things that we like so much. Yep, down a wee bit. There we are. So there we go. In spite of runaway Tombow. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget, if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button, which is down in the bottom right hand corner. Just, just, just about there. Um, you will need the products because they're brand new. So please jump over to my online store. There's a link to that below and all the items that I've listed will be below and also on my blog post. The dimensions will also be on my blog post uh, and that's linked below. Uh, if you are thinking about becoming a Stamping Up demonstrator, given that you've got all this lovely, these lovely new goodies to buy, then please, I would be delighted to welcome you to my team. We're getting a really good team going. Um, so that would be great. Um, the membership is £99, and for that you get £130 worth of product and free shipping, plus uh, catalogues, uh, order forms, loads of other stuff that you will find very useful. Um, and if you are a keen hobby demo, then meeting your minimum targets will be a breeze, and it's basically like paying your membership to go to the gym except rather than having to get all hot and sweaty you can just play with really lovely product and of course if you want to make this into a business that would be great too but don't feel you have to um, and if by any means you any any reason you don't meet the minimums then don't worry the stamping police will not come around and pick up all your stuff and take it away you will get to keep that and just become a customer again which is fine so I hope to see you again very soon and until then bye